Hey everybody, it's me, Tom Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, welcome to another one of our round table discussions. This time we're talking about Riverview. And even though we could not procure, even though the mayor's right here next to me, we couldn't procure a round table, uh, we're still gonna go around the table. And why don't we take some time to just say who we all are, what we do, and why we love Riverview, okay? I'll start, I'm Tom Dalton. Uh, I'm a TV show host, which means I have a small brain. Um, I'm a Gemini. I enjoy long walks in the woods. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm Tom Dalton from Under the Radar on PBS TV, and you are obviously the mayor. I'm Andy Swift, the mayor of the city of Riverview. I'm also Gemini, so I like long walks in the woods and, too. And parties, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Explosive hiking club. I've been the mayor for um, in my eighth year um, and council for 18 total. Uh, I love Riverview. Um, I, just, I love being here. I love participating in all the events we have going on. We've got so much going on in this city. Uh, some people will refer to us as a drive-through town, but right. that's fine. Uh, you can drive here and do a, a myriad of things. We've right. got boating, we got fishing, we've got uh, right. some hiking trails. Well, we'll get awesome to all library. that, Mayor. We're okay. just introducing right. ourselves <laughs> right okay. now. He's excited. Woo! Yeah. He's he the mayor, and I'm assuming there's a view of the river. A small view of the okay, river okay. <laughs> at our awesome boat ramp. Anyway. And I'm Tammy Bachran, and I own Serendipity Cakery, located right here in beautiful Riverview, formerly from Wyandotte. And I'll tell you, moving here was the best thing I ever did. We get so much support from the city and the river residents and the mayor and his wife and the other businesses. It's been great. So I've been doing this for 10 years. We just celebrated 10 years in business. Wow. Three years in Riverview. So, awesome. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, pretty excited about our future here. Okay. And you, sir, in the tie. <laughs> Hi, Tom. My name is Will Evans, and I am president and publisher of Go Big Multimedia, and we have the multimedia community newspapers. And um, our favorite is the Riverview Register, right. right here in town, where we publish a lot of the local events and all the great news and the good stories. Yeah, so you help give the town a sense of place because you keep everybody connected. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. And it's a it's a monthly publication, direct mail to all the homes, and uh, also with newsstands uh, all around the city, and with all of our other community newspapers as well. We have an annual circulation of seven hundred thousand. Whoa, so, that's more people than went to Woodstock. <laughs> that's a lot of people. Yeah. It's good news only, and so we love to. We love to share all that with what's happening in the community and all the events where people can know where to go and have fun awesome. right here in Riverview. And you, young lady. Um, hi, my name is Courtney and I'm co-owner of Riverview Nutrition. We actually just opened about nine months ago. Um, we had a prior business to where we were doing the same exact thing but under a different name for about four years. So we've been within Riverview for five years. We just help offer healthy alternatives um, just for on the go. We have healthy shakes, we have teas, and we have some other alternatives that we have caffeine in them. But we just love Riverview because of the people. We love just, when you come in, you meet the people, they come into our business, they may be strangers, but by the time we meet, they family, just because mm -hmm. of all the things that we get to do. Yes, they yeah, are. I mean, I sound like a broken record because I say this all the time when I do a lot of public speaking. Um, people ask me, what's your biggest surprise that you ever had in the 12 years you've been doing the show? And every time I have to honestly say it's the downriver area because until we came down here, I used to just, it used to be just a drive through for me. But until we started coming down here and exploring, doing the program, oh my gosh, the wonderful, friendly, creative people doing amazing things down here, the natural beauty down here, the fact that you're right, the access to the water is amazing. The restaurants, I mean, it's it's been the single biggest pleasant surprise for me. I was politely awakened. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, somebody finish the sentence for me. Riverview is, a great place to live, work, and play. As we used That's to say. my line. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is. Is we have awesome schools, and actually, find the Riverview schools is one of the things that attract people to Riverview, and they come to School of Choice. And I think it's probably 40, 50 percent at the start of School of Choice end up moving to Riverview because it's, it's it's a small bedroom community. It's quiet. Uh, it's one always one of the top 20 safest cities in the state. So um, it, it, and people look for quiet and safety and some and great neighbors, and we have them all. Well, we were filming down here yesterday, and this young gentleman came up to me and he said, thank you so much for being here. And the sincerity in his eyes, I almost cried, but he said, because people don't understand what a gem this area is. They just, until you actually get off the highway and drive in to these communities, you don't realize, 
that I'm never forget the first time I was in. Um, uh, I think I was driving to the city of Wyandotte at Christmas. It's, it's beautiful. just yeah, it's beautiful. 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 All these towns down here are just our little gems that a lot of people need to discover. And I always tell people. Stop going to the same places every weekend. Mm -hmm. My wife and I, we, on weekends, we like to go explore towns we've never been to before. Just we pick a town, go there, find a restaurant, we shop. It's like a little mini vacation. That's right. And in this area, you can have like 18 to like 20 mini vacations mm -hmm. just oh, yeah. here. Oh, yeah. So, but yeah, Riverview is, you do have, because I looked at a map, I'm <laughs> cheated. You do have a view of the river. We do. Right yeah. across from uh, Gros Seal, right? Yes, yep. We're at the, the, the north end of the island of Grosse Hill, and then Grosse Hill Bridge, obviously, in Riverview. Right. But uh, uh, a lot of our property in there is, is privately owned, but we do have one of the premier boat ramps in the area. It's one of the few where you actually can launch, you don't launch right into the river. Oh. You, know, you launch, you got a, a, a buffer area where you can get into the river, because obviously the, the current is pretty strong here. Right. Well, what's it like, what's the business community down here like? You guys got a lot of support? Oh, we do. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Same people that come in week after week order. Actually, right now we're so busy that I have to turn my regulars away, and I hate to do that. But we just hired two new people. We have 12 uh, employees at our work business right now. That is how crazy my business has exploded, especially since we celebrated our 10th anniversary back at the beginning of May. Because I love cake and donuts. <laughs> 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 I love that we got the, the cakes and the donuts yeah. here. We got well, the nutrition stuff yeah. here. And we're three doors from each other. Yes. Yeah. And I have ice cream too. So like when I was in Winda, I didn't offer ice cream, but I have ice cream. We're trying to grow that side of the business this year. So people come out of your shop with a big old donut in their mouth. They walk three doors down. They see your shop. They're like. Um, I guess we should go in here. Yeah. <laughs> they still come in. Yeah. They do, yeah. and they come in with her shakes and buy up cake balls and yeah. macarons and. I think that's the one thing I can say. I mean, we have the opportunity of being within the same space, but all of the small businesses down river, we all tell e tell our customers about each other. Like, yes. hey, we heard you talking about this. Here's a card for this person. I mean, I don't know how many times we've worked together mm -hmm. and we've done things, but at the same time, your small businesses and this community, especially Riverview, yes, the community supports us, but our support to the community is just as big and sometimes oh, yes. bigger to where that's how it works. That's yes. what it's all about is, yes, we have these small businesses, but to make a change in the community to where the community supports you and you support the community, that's the magic. Yes, it it's, is. And, and speaking of supporting the community, we should mention where we are. Mayor, where are we? We're in the city of Riverview. We're at the Parthenon, Coney Island, the best Coney Island in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, Riverview gets accused agree. of having too yes. many. I, I noticed on the drive yeah. in yeah. here, it's just like Coney, 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 yeah. Coney, Coney, Coney. That's not possible as far as I'm concerned. Right. But this, this is uh, yeah. one of our favorite places. Yes. Yeah, it's a nice big place. You can yeah. sure to get a table. Yeah. So, yeah. And you've got and a wonderful it. job of screaming and shouting to the world about all the great people, places, and things. I mean, that's got to be rewarding. Oh, thank you, Tom. It is. It's a, we're very blessed. And, you know, Riverview is a great place to open a business. You know, obviously in our newspapers, we deal with all the businesses as well, too. But you take a look at the demographics of Riverview. And you, if you look from the bird's eye view, Riverview is like in the the bullseye of the downriver area. Mm -hmm. So with the population of uh, approximately 18,000 and the safe city that it is, and there's a variety of small businesses that can get customers from the sister cities around. And like I said, it's like in the bullseye. So we have great, we've got great small businesses like uh, gourmet grocery stores and chiropractors. Uh, animal hospital and uh, jewelry stores and hobby shops and uh, specialty engraving and and also beauty salons appliance repairs auto repairs and specialty bakeries yeah. as well too <laughs> right. And, right. And we're <laughs> shop. Well, i think that we're the only bakery in riverview really if i'm right yeah, yeah. Well, the neat thing about there's so many communities down here that, like you said, you're in the bullside in Riverview, yes. and you can, there's so much to explore, so many downtowns and places and people, and you've got the water, and you've got the, the natural, the parks. I mean, the trail ride we went on uh, the other day was mm -hmm. beautiful here. It was great, yeah. So, and all those are easily accessible from Riverview, right. and then you can come home where it's nice and safe and quiet. Right. Right. It's like you don't have to go up north mm -hmm. to have fun. You can just come here. <laughs> so, how, have you guys, are you guys all born and bred down yes. in this area? No. Uh oh. No. <laughs> yeah, I've been down, down here for over 20 years, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. out. You're out. Yeah. yeah. 
I was I was born here. I left for a short time after we got married, but then came right back. Right. So I've been here since 1955. What are some of the perks of being mayor of Riverview? Oh, you get to meet some awesome people, you know, and and it's absolutely true. I've got to done, got to do so many good things uh, to help people, uh, and that's why I chose Parthenon during COVID when it was you know eating was ish, issue for a lot right. of people. They just contacted me and says, you know, just give me a name and they show up and they get a free free meal. Right. And it's all with all these businesses. They, it's a true partnership where obviously we provide the people for their their business, but they do so much work with the schools and our events. It's it's a, it's a real partnership. I'm glad you said events because I mean summer's just starting now. Um, it's getting hot. It's hot out there today. Oh, yeah. what was it 105 yesterday? Yeah. Um, what are some great events in Riverview that people can come down to, and just this summer, just to get a taste of the city? We just got done with Summerfest yeah. this past yeah. weekend, mm -hmm. and that was great. I seen a lot of people out there. I didn't get to go much because we were swamped, but we had a booth out there, and we actually had a sellout on Saturday. Um, so yeah, I'm happy summer, about yeah. that. But Alan, my, my husband said it was packed. Yeah, Summerfest is our, it's it's the kickoff to summer for Riverview yeah. and all down rivers. It's a three day event. I don't know what the numbers were, but I'm sure it was in the four or five thousand that we drew over the three days. I hear the mayor. And, and no, so, uh, eight, uh, twenty, fifty thousand. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And and so it, it, it's the attraction. We don't have a lot of destination places to go, but we have some really nice events. Summerfest is one of them. Right. And we have the concerts in the park every Wednesday starting uh, in in July. And so one of the big things we have coming up we call it concert on the course. We're always looking for heard unique, about that. unique things to present to, to the community. Last year we did, uh, it was called a uh, golf outing called Clubs in Chrome. We actually had classic cars on the golf course. Yeah. None of them got hit, so the others were, 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 <laughs> were I really was happy. There. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And they wouldn't let me you know, golf then too. But uh, with the concert on the course, it's actually going to be a Pine Knob style um, concert oh, on our cool. golf practice facility. So uh, it's we're trying to show off alternate uses for our, our landfill because it's a part of the, the part of the landfill that's closed. So we just had a meeting yesterday to talk about the logistics. Uh, we expect we normally have 120, 150 other concerts in the park. We're expecting well over two or three hundred for this event, awesome. and some of these businesses are participating and helping us promote it. So uh, we got those things going on. We have uh, um, we we had the wall that heals uh, last August. Um, that's the traveling Vietnam Wall, uh, and it's in early July. We're also having what's called the Wounded America Ride, okay. where this it's a fundraiser for uh, uh, first responders and, and vets. Where that would be, and you're expecting four or five hundred bikes to come through town, visit our young page, our premier park, and Patriots Park, yeah. and our American Legion. So we have those things going on. We have awesome programs at our library, awesome along, all family oriented type of, of, of events. So yeah, the concert on the course. Um, we can probably put a link to that on our, you know, put a link so people get more information about that. Well, thanks you guys for joining me. Uh, even though the table wasn't round, sorry, I did <laughs> the best I could. Mayor, you couldn't get us around. Uh, table. Sorry, maybe next time. <laughs> but yeah, if you get a chance, check out Riverview. Um, come on down here for a weekend, for a weekend evening. Uh, do what my wife and I do. We, like I said, we pick little towns. They're sometimes big towns, um, and we go explore. And we've made friends. We've purchased things that are now in our home. Um, so yeah, it's, and we fill our bellies. <laughs> <laughs> so any last words? Anybody want to rah rah for Riverview? Do you guys have a fight song? Or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. I just want to say thank you for having me on with you guys today, and for letting us talk about our businesses. You know, like I said, I am very blessed to be in the city of Riverview. If I could get my husband to move, we would be moving to Riverview. There I you keep go. telling him that. My landlord lives out the back door of our store, and I said, if they moved, I want it. Well, Courtney and I said we both want it. We'd fight over yeah. it. Just well, live together, you know. Well, one more plug for your businesses. Say it again, loud and proud. A Serendipity Cakery and Ice Cream Shop, located right down the road at 18100 Fort Street. We're open seven days a week when um, other bakeries are not. And it actually works for us. So. But you're a cakery, not a bakery. It's. It's, I, I like, it's a bakery that so, bakes the cakes. So. Yes, yeah, so I like to be different. So like our main item is the cake drops, but they're cake balls. Right. That's what people call them, but we call them cake drops. I'm different. I don't want to be like everyone else. I love you. Okay, great. And Thank one you. more time. 
uh, we own the Riverview Register, which is the community newspaper, and so proud to be the voice and the megaphone of the city of Riverview, and again, publish just the good news. Yep. And this way that people know where to go for the events and all the great businesses. And again, we're talking about the, the events. Um, the concert on the course is, is coming up. Um, this ball is uh, just before Thanksgiving is the tree lighting. The tree lighting has gone phenomenal. I mean, it's, it, the police are out there now trying to direct traffic. And, oh, and I blame that on him because well, once we started getting the rear view register, because it goes every home, the attendance has gone up in our event probably 45-50%. So I blame all on him with the, with the promotion. <laughs> we have a congresswoman in Dingle couldn't get in last year because <laughs> it was just too crowded there. They have a police escort her in. But uh, uh, so anyway. Yeah. And and then, proud. Yeah. Um, I am co-owner of Review Nutrition. So whether you've stopped over at Tammy's or you come to Mars for a delicious shake or a nice drink, make sure you also head over to Young Patriots Park and check out the pond because while you're tasting one of our delicious treats, you may even see one of the turtles come on out. Practice that. Yeah. Yeah. That was my favorite thing about the pond. There, the so there, was, yes. there, there was tons of stuff to bring up. Obviously, yeah. she, she brought up our, our premier park, Young Patriots Park. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really known for a few years ago, we started to start putting in a thing called Turtle Island. That's a huge pond. There's a lot of turtles in there. Yeah. So, to, to help promote, they we're always looking for little things to promote our parks and our golf course and stuff. So, we have uh, it's called a Turtle Island Contest. Yeah. It started yeah. out with the first person to send me a picture of a turtle on Turtle Island gets a $50 certificate to either one of these. Too. Okay, I'm going to oh, Photoshop yeah, in yeah, a whole yeah. mess of well, turtles. And, and actually, we had people do that, so What's we caught on real quick. So every year they make a little difference to a different color tree. They're doing tree a pyramid, island, you know. So, yes, and now it just morphed into anybody who sends a picture during the month of May. But yeah. it gets people to the park, gives yeah. them something interesting to do. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. it just one more unique thing that makes Rearview stand out. Yeah. And Mr. Mayor, how did everybody know about that? And they found out by. <laughs> was, I, was I supposed to be calling you Mr. Mayor? Yeah. Or I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. I paid, a, I paid him ahead of time. You got a ring? You got a ring? I'm supposed to kiss or something? No. <laughs> I couldn't get back out after surgery. So. Well, thanks, thanks to you too, Mayor, for being here with well, us. Oh, thank you. We thanks. really appreciate no, it. And, and because of shows like you and Destination Down River, Riverview's on the map, and our residents will also learn a little bit more about the town they're there. Yes, so you're not only on maps, yeah. Siri got me here too. Oh, very good. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, no, I know where you guys are. Um, so if anybody wants to call and he's the mayor's buying. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs>